hey ielts community welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to share with you the prediction for 4 november ielts exam and also provide you the guidelines that you should use to get your desired band scores as last exam was a bit on moderate side so this exam will be easy as compared to that Starting off with the listening module, overall this module will be easy but one or two section the audio can be bit fast as compared to the normal one. In section 1 you can expect blanks, one word or a number type of questions. In section 2 blanks and choose two option kind of MCQ and in section 3 long MCQ along with match information. And lastly in section 4 one word blanks that can be based on any research or any lecture in a class. While preparing for listening module, you should keep these three or four things in mind. Focus on spelling mistakes because a lot of students reduce their band score due to this. And get used to different accents. Work on your weak question types. Like if you are weak in MCQ, then you should improve that by using YouTube. And apart from this, you should practice listening at 1.25x speed that will help you challenge your mind. Moving on to the reading module, overall this module will be easy to moderate. In passage 1, you can expect true false not given along with blanks one word only. And passage 2 will be based on list of headings, writer's opinion and summary type of question. And lastly in passage 3 that can be a bit tricky, MCQ, yes, no, not given and matching sentence type of questions. There are a couple of things that you should keep in mind while preparation for reading module. You should learn the methods of solving those question types that you are weak in and you should work on time management like try to solve the easy passages in less than 20 minutes that will give you extra time to solve the hard one. And if you still face any kind of problem, you can join our live reading classes on YouTube. It's completely free or you can message us on our telegram group. We will try to guide you as much as we can. For writing module in task one, you can expect line graph, pie chart, diagram or blend of two charts. And moving on to the task two advantage outweigh disadvantages. Discuss both views agree or disagree. There are a couple of things that you should keep in mind while solving writing task. You should generate strong ideas that are related to the topic or the central idea of the question and do, that will help you to improve your task response. Apart from this, you should also work on the structure that you are using for these writing tasks. Thanks for watching the video guys and if you need any help regarding any of the module you can message us on our telegram group or on our instagram handle. The links will be in the about section of this channel.